Hey guys, it's Lila Lums Apothecary Health and Beauty Hacks, and today we're going to talk about xylitol. We know that it's a great sugar substitute, it's good for bone density, it actually is really good for your mouth. We're going to discuss why, but it's also good for your skin, both topically and as a supplement in your mouth. Okay guys, xylitol. I get xylitol, of course, in bulk supplements. And I completely forgot about this in terms of like colds and flus and I was kind of having like this funky throat thing and forgot about xylitol. Xylitol is great also in skincare. It's a humectant, so it draws moisture to your skin. And it's very interesting what it does internally. I was feeling funny in my nose and I make this little, out of this snoot, this little uh, spray bottle you spray up your nose. I got this at Amazon. Of course, I'll make put links in the, in the description, all these little products, you guys. But I have this snoot, which is a colloidal silver that I made, and then I put a bunch of xylitol in it. It's very sweet, it's pleasant. You just spray it up your nose, woo! And in my mouth, like, cause I was feeling a little funky in the back of my throat, so I was like, oh yeah. Spray some of this, gargle with it. It's good for ear infections. It's good for so many things. I didn't know about all why, why it's good for bacteria and the like. And so let's discuss why. So anyways, I forgot about this. Internally as a supplement, it helps synthesize collagen. Isn't that amazing? You don't want to go over 50 grams. If you will go over 50 grams a day because your body doesn't digest it, you'll have the shit. You don't want to, you'll have diarrhea. You don't want that. It'll just go th straight through you. You don't want to go beyond that. So don't. Okay, let's discuss those studies. In a 2000 Finnish study, a study in Finland, if you will, there was a short-term, three months, it was about three months study on rats and xylitol's effect, and it increased their skin's, the synthesis in their skin of collagen. They were, it was supplemented internally. They also found that in the same rat study that xylitol internally supplemented to these rats reduced glycation of the skin. And glycation is basically like aging and crustification of the collagen. That's the technical term, crustification. Another study in 2005, a study in gerontology, studied the long-term effects of xylitol internal supplementation on rats. And they discovered that it, it prevented age-related aging decline of collagen in these rats. And it also increased the collagen synthesis. Both prevented degeneration, like the glycation, and it increased the synthesis of the collagen. So collagen and xylitol, they like each other. Now this was rats, but no human studies as of yet. We know that xylitol increases your body's ability to absorb calcium. And that's why it's, I guess, good for bone building. That makes sense. It has very low glycemic index. So that's why it's a great sugar substitute and good for diabetes and all the like. It's really, really toxic to, to dogs though. So if there's all these dog deaths, dog getting hold of xylitol, chewing the gum, you, you don't want it around your dog because it lowers their blood sugar. Somehow it doesn't do that in humans, but it does it in dogs to the point where I guess where they die. It's really scary. Keep it away from your dog. Another study showed that xylitol increased the stability of certain, the 3D structure of certain proteins in your skin. So that's really cool. Topically, it has a lot of benefits, just moisture for your skin, and that's the very least. Another thing, wound healing. So the way it affects bacteria, like it has affects strep, a lot of streptococcus strains. So these bacteria, they prefer xylitol. Out of, but if it's mixed with a bunch of sugars, they prefer xylitol. They'll eat the xylitol and they can't metabolize it. So they basically starve to death. They like the taste of xylitol the best. That's why it's affecting a lot of bacteria strains. This is good for bacteria in your mouth, along your digestive system. But the most interesting thing is it doesn't allow bacteria to attach onto cells, so it makes it slippery. That's why it's great for your teeth, because it doesn't allow bacteria to attach to your, to your teeth. And you can kind of feel, I feel this when I put it in my mouth. Your mouth feels sleepy, your teeth feel all nice and slippery. Mmm, that's yummy. Swishes through your teeth. So that's why I think it'd be a great idea to make a mouthwash and kind of swish your mouth with it, gargle it, get in your, you know, your station tubes of your ears. There's one um, mouthwash recipe with 500 milligrams, or like two cups of distilled water, four grams or one and a half ounces of xylitol and two teaspoons of baking soda and some peppermint oil. But I'm just gonna make, 
a spray bottle because I'm gonna keep this around, spray it in my mouth. They've got xylitol gum. I chew a lot of Trident, which doesn't have just xylitol. There's a better gums out there that have just xylitol. It's probably better. Just pour a little bit of distilled water. Ooh. I'm just gonna try and shove a spoonful in here, an exact amount. But, but really, it's effective. I've read at 1.3 something percent. So you don't really need a lot, but I'm using the other end. Okay, get it in. Okay, since it's so difficult, I'm gonna make a little funnel, just a little piece of tape around a piece of paper. See, perfect little funnel. I have my distilled water in here and I'm just going to put a little spoonful of xylitol. See, I just pour it in, no problem. Shove it in there. Voila! And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of peppermint oil in there. Like a drop or two. Make it refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's good, because I have like about a drop left. Ding, ding. To finito. Ta-da! Xylitol has base pH, so it's, it's like eight is what I've read. So it's, it'll neutralize acids in your mouth, which is another reason why it helps with cavities. It helps neutralize the acidity. It keeps bacteria from adhering to cells, to your mouth, to your gums. Mm -hmm. And it inhibits biofilms. Biofilms, so a lot of wounds and infections, they have this like colony of yeasts and bacteria and viruses and they create a film which is hard to penetrate and you want to have uh, antibiotics to help penetrate the biofilm they have antibiotics has to penetrate the biofilm so maybe this would help with antibiotics you could xylitol help the antibiotics be effective hmm Ooh, peppermint tea and sweet it's so nice that it's sweet there's all these studies that see how it affects your teeth and your oral hygiene, mm, how it inhibits bacterial growth. And it ha actually there's studies also that it, it inhibits, it affects strep, it affects the pneumonia and ear infections and some pneumonia strains. Uh, that's also in a pneumonia, a bunch of different strains, okay? Some influenza strains and candida. It has some effect on those as well. So it can help shorten, for that it helps shorten colds. What we're mostly interested in is how it can boost your collagen production in your body. So. I'm gonna start sweetening my tea with it a little bit more often. And I'm just gonna keep spraying this in my mouth. So it's a great mouth freshener. You know, after you've eat or you're you're drinking something sweet or anything, you could just mm, have a little spritz, a little refresher. And keeping your your sinuses clear and get your little snoot together, guys. Oops. Mmm. Ah. Uh. I feel all cleansed, very cleansed. I wonder if, like, if you put a little bit in a spray ball, if it would help with acne. I wonder, I don't know. It feeds the good bacteria in your gut. It actually acts more like a fiber in your in your gut, like a prebiotic, which is good. It has a lot, there's a lot of studies with xylitol helping decrease ear infections in children. There's small little eustachian tubes. So you wanna get Xylitol, little xylitol candies, or sweeten their stuff with xylitol. Very low glycemic index. It's like a 40% less calories than sugar, which doesn't cause overproduction of insulin for those with the diabetes issues. Mm. Yeah, bulk, act, bulk supplements, so there's xylitol. I don't, I'm not sure if it's made from corn or birch. Maybe you want birch one. There's a few companies that specify what, that they're made from birch. I think Swanson's has one. Yeah, man, xylitol, you gotta get some. If not only to boost your collagen synthesis likely, but for your oral health and your bone health. Hmm? And also to stay healthy during colds and flu seasons, you guys. Hmm? So if you're prone to ear infections or strep throat or any sort of infection, you should check this out. Yeast infections, it has an effect on candida. This is amazing. So if you like that video, okay, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. You can click the bell button to get notified when we upload on Thursdays and when we do lives Tuesdays, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Times. And let's discuss in the comments below. Do you use xylitol? Do you use it in skincare? 
Have you sprayed it on your skin? Has it affected your uh, acne or anything? Do you have any comments? Let's discuss in the discussion little box below and I'll link to all of these different things in the description box you know where I got this where I got this bottle xylitol where I got the peppermint all of it you guys okay have a fabulous day mmm mm. bye 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 Mm. Okay, you know what? I need a little funnel. That's what I need. Both as an oral supplement, but also as a topical supplement. Just trying to get as much xylitol in there as I can. And I've made in the past, oh, darn it, I left it upstairs. And dietary xylitol, da, da, da. I saw a. Uh, No steady human, because it's in a lot of skincare. It's use it. It's <sighs> it. Um, mm. Swish it. Swish it around. It's mm -hmm. steady ability of cells to increase the ability of certain proteins. One more thing. Yeah. Is it there's something in my eyeball? Something in my eyeball. Mm-hmm. It um a lot of strep a cock what is it what is it called? The strep virus? It, that's the <laughs> strepolococcus. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a lot in. Mm. And that's awesome. Thanks for thanks for visiting us today. <laughs> Absorption of of uh, what is it called? Mm-hmm.